willing to do what, uh, amen, God has pointed out to me to do. A a a amen. And, and uh, I'm glad to see that you join in. Tonight we are going to use the second uh, word in the acronym. And the word is A. The word is A. And A is for active. Active. And we go back to the scripture. And praise the Lord that we read. Um, um, well, we go, we go to Acts 1 and 14. Praise God in Acts 2 and 1. Those are the words to, um, to me that challenge, challenges me that he wants us to be actively engaged. Yes. Actively engaged. Acts chapter uh, 1 verse 14 reads, Amen, praise God. Um, chapter 1 verse 14 says, They all, who were they? The disciples, amen, praise God, they all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication. Yes. Supplication means you're appealing, you're asking, amen, praise God, uh, on behalf of yourself or on behalf of another. Mm -hmm. You're supplicating, you're, in other words, you're, you're saying, pretty please, come on now. Amen. You're pretty pleased. To supplicate is to be on your own behalf, praise God, or on behalf of somebody else. Praise the Lord. And that's what, you know, folks don't understand what prayer is. Prayer is telling is talking to God like you talk to your boss, or you talk to your husband, you talk to your, 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 your sister, your brother, your husband, your, your family. That's what prayer is. Prayer is engaging God, amen, in your in conversation. Yes. And it's not a one-way street. When you pray, he hears. Yes. Amen. He might not answer you the way you ask, amen. but praise God you want, but praise God God will answer. Yes, yes, amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, you see that God answers prayers. Yes. You know, I was so fascinated. I didn't want to get off of it. But I, I was so fast, fascinated with Solomon. When Solomon came to the kingdom, he went to, to, he went to worship God. Amen. And that's something that we should not, you know, be, be so stingy to do. We should worship God. If you want to draw near to God and God is draw near to you, worship him. Lift up, throw those hands and thank and just say, praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Get, a, get your hand cursed and wave it and say, you are great. Yes. And great is to be praised. Just, just love him. Love God. Yes. Love him. Amen. But <clears throat> Solomon, after he had sacrificed, then he went to begin to pray. And he says, God, look what you did for my daddy. Mm. Hmm? Yeah. Look what you did for my daddy. Mm -hmm. And now you've exalted me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Me. And he, he said, you've exalted this little boy. Yeah. Oh, this little boy. Amen. To, uh, to sit up on the throne and to you know, to lead and, and to govern all these people. And he said, God, I don't know how to do it. And God came to him in a dream that night. And he said to him, he said, ask whatever you will. I'll grant it. Anything. Just ask. And, you know, like me, I would want, I'd ask God for both. Ten million dollars. Amen. A house. Way out there in Tipton County. But Solomon said, God, he says, I'm just a child. I don't know how to go out and come in among you. Hmm? I need wisdom. He was actively engaged. Praise 
praise the Lord. He was not just having church. He was actively engaged with God. And he said God gave him all the wisdom and all the understanding that he needed. And he gave him everything else beyond. He became the wealthiest man that ever lived. My God. We tonight, I'm asking you, let us, let us get actively engaged in this convocation. Praise God. Reaching, you, you, didn't, you didn't come here, amen, just to make Brother Bedford happy. You came here because you, got, you have a need. You have a desire for God to fill. So, the scripture said they all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication with all the women. God bless your women. Mm -hmm. If it were not for you, sometimes I, we, we wouldn't be able to have church. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Every once in a while, the men show off, but mm -hmm. I'll tell you, women. The women. Amen. Praise God, the women were there. Amen. Say women. women. Amen. Say, let me hear you. Women. Amen. Amen. The women were there. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. And the Holy Ghost would have the have a loop to record this and to, to help us tonight. He says, and uh, with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Who? Mary, the mother of Jesus. Of Jesus. Yeah. And with his brothers. They were all there with one accord yeah. in prayer mm -hmm. and supplication. They weren't afraid to pray. Let me tell you, let me say something to you. Don't be afraid to pray to God. You don't have to worry who hears you. Pray to God. Pray to God. You want, you want him, amen, to come and praise God or come and amen, clothe you. Yes. Praise the Lord. Brother Bedford can't do it. I can lay my hand on you and pray for you. Praise God. But it takes God to do the filling, yes. the baptizing. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Praise the Lord. Then in Acts 2 and 1, he said that when the day, the day did come, mm -hmm. 10 days after, <laughs> praise God. That coincides with Sunday. This Sunday coming, amen, is Pentecost. So it's celebrated worldwide, especially in the Pentecostal churches, amen, and in, in Jewish synagogues. And um, they, they celebrate Pentecost. Amen. And on, when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they did not come there, amen, sister against brother, aunt against uncle, niece against cousin, amen. They, were, they came with one accord. They mean that they were in total agreement. Amen. We need to get rid of the little, the little, um, sister, uh, Mother Hodges used to say, the little foxes that gnaws the vine. Amen. I, I was looking on a, on a picture on the on the news, and this reporter was saying, he said, look at this tree. He said, this tree looks like somebody took a fine sandpaper and just rubbed all the bark. He it said, it's as smooth as a baby's behind. point he was making there was the power of the tornado. Mm -hmm. And in all that turbulence, God caused that tree to stand. Hello? You get the idea here? God caused the tree to stand. I am telling you, he will do for you whatever you ask him to do. God can. God can keep a, a tree standing, yes. amen, in, a, yes. in almost two or 200 miles an hour wind, yes. amen, take the bark, bark of it and still the tree standing. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Yes. They were all, amen, accord in one place. Yes. That's what I'm, I'm encouraging you to do. Let us get a 
the same page. Hmm? Let us get on the same page. Some of you don't understand, ask questions. I, I love it. I love what, what happened last night. I love it. I love it from the bottom of my heart. Amen. Ask questions. Ask questions. There are a lot of church folk going to church. Amen. Hung for over 100 years. And when they come to time to die, they don't know whether they're going to heaven or hell. We don't want that. We don't want that. I am encouraging you tonight, praise God, to find God's will for your life. And the only way you're going to find his will for your life is for us to be what? At one accord. Mm. Praise the Lord. Said uh, 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 um, act, uh, active it means to what? Continue in a state of living in the moment. You ever heard that, that, that phrase before? Living in the moment? That means you, 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 you praise God, you're alive. Yes, amen. amen. Your ears are turned up, hey, praise God, like, like the, 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 the dog when he hears his master's voice. You're living in the moment. That dog knows that the master is going to give it something to nibble on. I'm not calling you dog now. Don't get no wrong idea. What I'm saying, amen, that that little animal is teaching us something. That dog know, knows that when the master comes, or the mystery, amen, they're going to throw him a bone. Hmm? They're going to treat, give him a treat. Praise the Lord. Living in the moment. The moment here is to what? Be in one accord. And seek God's face. Holy Spirit, fill this place. We were just singing a while ago. Holy Spirit, fill me. You've got to ask the Lord. That's why they did that and for ten full days. Hallelujah. They all continued with one accord in, separate, in prayer and supplication with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus. They were actively engaged in seeking the promise. That's what I'm asking tonight. I'm asking us to be what? Actively. 